Right, welcome back ladies and gents. Um, in this video we're going to be looking at how we can create something similar to what we had in the previous video which is this here. It's a breakdown of um, how each film performed in these five months. Um, that would be great if we could do one for the genre itself and I'm going to show you what I think is the quickest way of doing this. Um, now, I haven't planned this so therefore there will be some trialing and error um, and that's completely normal, that's completely fine, that's what I wanted to take away from this uh, this particular lesson. So, let's start. Quickest way would be to basically copy and paste. I'm going to go down, paste. Now obviously these won't make sense right now, so we're going to have to fix some of these points here. We're going to need another list um, here. So rather than a list of uh, the name of movies, we want the genres themselves. So rather than creating a new tab, uh, so a worksheet, we just throw it in here. I'm going to go over here first. Then I'm going to go find the genre. There it is. Drag all the way down, including the title, the header, sorry. Up to the end. Copy. Go back over here. I'm just going to paste it into here for now. If it will let me. No, it didn't. Let's try that again. Maybe I didn't press copy. There we go. Let's try again. Perfect, right. I'm going to. Oh, one second. I just realized. Ah, that's what I've done. I press C rather than Control C. Now I can do it. My finger didn't click the button properly. There we go. Expand it. There we go. Now there's obviously duplication in here, so I'm going to go all the way down. Select the entire set. Go to data and remove a duplicates and press OK. There we go, done. And there we, there we have our unique list of genres. First step is going to be um, screenshotting what you've just done here and putting it into your Word document here. So we're going to call this, uh, let's see. Leave the title for now. I haven't decided what we're going to call this yet. We're going to say section 13 though. And we're going to put the screenshot in here. We'll worry about the title in a moment. But for now you're going to put the screenshot and then just explain how uh, you needed a unique list of the genres from your data set. The table, uh, the, uh, table itself. And uh, you did that by copying and pasting into the, your list of movies. And then uh, selecting the entire uh, set and then removed any duplicate fields. Now that you have a unique set. Um, make sure you get your comment in and then we're going to go over here. Now the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to change this validation here. So that's uh, I believe in data here and data validation. There it is. Data validation says list which is correct. We want it to be a list but we're going to go and update it and it's going to be this one here. So we're going to select that, click on this, press OK. Now when we do that, now it's not, it's not been updated yet, but when we do that, you can see it's been it's there now. So this is a list of the genres. And instead of saying movie, we're going to say genre. Okay, done. Now the next step is to screenshot this and explain what you've done here. So you're going to say you've updated a new data validation, uh, a new drop-down list, uh, which will allow the user to pick the genre from this list that you've updated in the list of movies um, tab or worksheet. So you can go ahead and include a comment if you want to as well and of course update the screenshot and explain what you've done in here. Next thing is obviously we need to get these done here. Now rather than doing all of this again, helper 1, 2 and 3 and of course this new set, uh, this, this table on the side that allowed us to see the individual records for the film name, the easiest way would be basically to duplicate this entire sheet. So I'm going to copy this, create a copy, perfect. So I'm going to go to the front, I'm going to drag it across, and I'm going to put it over here, there we go. And we're going to leave that as two for now, we can change it, actually no, let's give it an appropriate name. So we're going to say Let's call it V2, so we know that's for the version, uh, for that version. Going over here, this time, 
because we're working on version 2, all we've got to do is go into help 1 and that should look at the actual the formula, so D2 so D2 is the name, can you see? but we're not looking at the name anymore, we're looking at the genre so we're going to just change that from D to G simply, so go to there delete the G, D and type in G and that's going to be um, G as well okay once that's done just double check it that's G2 and that's G2 as well yep and the rest is the same from before so we need to update that as well and all we got to do is drag this down all the way to the bottom and we shouldn't see any change because what we want here is the numbers 1 2 Four nine nine. This is just like a unique number for that uh, column. Uh, and all we've done is just um, organized, sorry, updated it so that it's relevant for version two, which is all about genre rather than the film name. Now we're going to go to the next one, and even though this one's blank, you can see that there is a formula. So we're going to update this as well. And again, this is D two. We don't want D two. We want G. So we're going to change the G. And in basically, we're, all we're going to do is make anything that says B to a G. That's basically what we're trying to do. So G there, and then M2. Let me just double check. Do we need to change that? Yeah, I believe we do. No, we don't. We don't. Let's just double check. Press Enter. And I'm going to drag this all the way down. I think that's correct. I'll double check just in case. Okay. And that's all blank for now. Um, because there is one thing I haven't done yet. Let's have a look. What was equal that? Okay, here we go. In the summary sheet. So in the summary sheet, it's checking G2. Which, if you go back, summary sheet, G2. Um, sorry, is it G2? Let me just check. G2 equals C2. Right, so it's going to check if G2, this one here, is the same as G7. Uh, in the summary sheet, so we need to double check that that is actually correct. And G7, no, it's not because G is all the way down here, and that's not what we wanted to check. So I'm sorry, I was wrong. That G7 needs to be actually B, this one here, B15. There it is. So it's going from what was before B7 to B15. So we'll go back over here. So that's not G7, that's going to be B. 15. So it's going to check this field here and compare it to B15, which is the new drop down list that we made. Let's enter. Okay, and then drag this down for now. And remember, remember, if you make a mistake, it makes no, it's no problem as long as you fix it before you take the screenshot there's nothing wrong with that, it's in fact completely normal to make mistakes and um, you know it's part of this process itself now it seems as though it's, it's actually showing um, all the dramas okay so the question I have to ask myself is is drama selected right now? yes it is as you can see so if I change this to say action if I go back over here now then all the action should show there we go yeah, so we know now know that helper two is definitely working as well. Now helper three, I know it seems like it's working here, but we do need to double check this because it is checking helper two, which is fine. Yep, and I don't know. I think that's 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 okay actually. Let's double check. Let's go in here. I'm gonna go for something smaller. So I'm gonna go for. Uh, drama seems small, so let's look at that. There we go. So this seems fine. It seems to be showing all the dramas, and this is all the dramas there. Let's just double check this. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. So that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, and 17. There we go. Perfect. And 
it is a wise move to do these kind of checks yourself to make sure it works and it makes sense. So we now know helper one, two, and three for the genre version two of the same sheet is working. Now on this side, it should have done it automatically as well. Yeah, there you go. And it seems like the 17 in there. Now there is a way of quickly checking this, I think, if I do that. Yeah. Just have a look at, just keep your eye on here where the cursor is right now where it says U2. When I select, it should tell you how many you have selected. So it says there, there's 17. So that means that's correct. That's picked out what it needs to pick out from there. So now version two of this sheet has been updated. All we got to do now is come over here and change the formulas over here so that it cross-references the drama uh, romance uh, selection for this table here. Now before we go any further, because we've done quite a bit of work on this version 2 of this sheet, it makes sense to screenshot this and this and explain the difference with this sheet compared to the first sheet. So again, insert comments, explain what you've done, there it is, and then of course screenshot and put it into this document. So this is your second screenshot, for some of you maybe even third screenshot if you want those higher marks to show the, the changes as you're going along. Explaining the difference in specifically the formula. So as you know, the formula here hasn't changed at all, but the formula in helper two column and the helper one column has changed. You want to explain what has changed and why and how this will for, uh, links back to this new table that we're creating here, this summary table. Okay, so now we're going to go on to hopefully the last bits, which is to update these, um, some of these um, uh, formulas. So this one here is saying 87, let's just double check. And uh, well, actually we know it's not 87, we know that it's 17, so this should really say 17. So something's wrong here. Well, first things first, it's looking at the main data sheet uh, version one. So what we want that to say is actually um, brackets, capital V2, brackets, close, enter. Now, still not done, needs to be updated still. And so I'm going to look at this and double check what seems to be the problem. So that says it's looking at AC10 to AC508. So we're going to go back over here. Let's double check something here. Enter. Let's look at this. So this is 95. Okay, sorry, my mind has gone blank, so I'm just going to pause the video, have a little think, and then I'll come back to you. Okay, ladies and gents, I'm not really sure why it didn't work. I've just done the exact same thing, and it seems to be working again. So I'm just going to show you what I did. I'm just going to delete this one here. So you can see it says 17 now. Just to delete it. I'm going to press it equals, and then I'm just going to type it in. So sub total bracket open number two comma, and then you're going to get your mouse. Click on the new sheet, which is version 2 over here, and you're going to click the first one, so number 2, all the way down to 500, which is where it stops. And you'll see where it says, as you can see where my mouse is hovering, it says 500R, which means I'm at 500 now. Do that, and then you press enter. And there you go, it's got 17 there now, which is perfect. So we know that's working. So if I change this, just to double check, horror, it should change. There you go, it's changing that, perfect. So let's go back to... Um, drama 17 so um, let's next look at the next one out um, so this one here is looking at the subtotal um, for the money that's been made for that so it's just adding it all up so we want to keep the same the difference is now I'm going to delete all this just keep the number 9 so this hopefully should work now and just click on this sheet and choose from here onwards. So I'm going to get to 500, I think. That's 500, yes it is. Good, there we go. And then go right to the top. And what I should do is basically add up the numbers in here. There it is. And press enter. There you go, £179.83. Now, you should have, by now, 
taken two screenshots here for those who want in the merits and distinctions to say that this has given us the exact number of people that went to watch drama and romance uh, in the five months period that uh, we're looking at here and this here is how much they basically the cinema got from those 17 people from this type of film this genre so there's two different types of screenshots two different types of annotations and explanation there for section 12 i believe it's 13. now we're looking at the percentage now the percentage is relatively easy um if you look at this example here it is simply um the amount made divided by the people so we're going to go here again and you can just simply put equals this divide remember that symbol there is divide by the number who came to watch it press center and that Oh no, sorry, one second, forgive me. That's I'm look I'm thinking about the wrong one. This is not that. This is a percentage of sales from the total. So we want this divided by the uh, the total amount, which is on that uh, the main sheet. So I'm gonna go back over here in a second, so we're gonna press equal equals. This oh one second. I'm gonna get my head head around this. Yes, that's right. So, equals this divided by, I'm going to go to version 2 and look for the total down here at the bottom. So, we're using version 2 for this. All the way down. And that's the total. Press enter. Okay, so that's 3% of their total sales. So this drama slash romance films has made it has made up 3% of their total sales for those five months. So it's not really that much. And that's the point we're trying to get to. This is useful information that the company can use. It just gives them an idea of how much money is really this kind of film bringing in to this particular branch. Now, average revenue per customer is worked out by getting this divided by that. So you're going to get equals this divided by this many people done okay now we don't need these two so i'm just going to delete them in fact i'm going to do this instead it's easier get rid, gets rid of the um the borders as well done and that's basically it so that's giving you a little bit extra there um freedom to the user to decide how to manipulate this this data so they've got one here just for the films and you'll notice how this doesn't affect this one here at the bottom this why I'm, this is why i made them separately so we can look at how genres and what genres are bringing uh, is bringing in more money or less money to the company versus the type the actual films themselves okay so you can see that there Okay. Um, now, the reason why I didn't put any duration of film in this one is because obviously you could have five different films for the same genre. So the time will be different for each one. So you can't really work that one out. Whereas this one here, each film has its own uh, duration. So you can make uh, a distinction there. So that brings us to the end of this video. Give this a go. Um, and as I said, make sure you comment and you go back and screenshot each one of these formulas explaining what you've changed and why you have this why is this important so number of people who pay to watch this genre let's click it make it a little bit more uh, official and more thingy i'm going to also wrap this text so you to see there we go total revenue made from this genre percentage of total sales Yep, average revenue per customer. There you go. Okay, so that makes more sense. So we're going to save this. Uh, and as I said, make sure you explain each formula. So you've got additional marks there to say, look, I've got another subtotal. I am using linked worksheets. These are the words you need to in, in, include in your annotations, ladies and gents. So subtotals, link work, linked worksheets, um, percentages, averages, um yeah and that's basically it so give that a go and uh good luck see you in the next one